Hi guys, this is Dracula giving audio tips again. Here's a song that I will try to make sound something like a Beatles song from the late 60s. This is already on Spotify, but I'm gonna remix it so it sounds more convincing. I've never been satisfied with this mix. The drums particularly sound too thin. Originally we used some tea towels on snare and thumbs, but the result wasn't too good. So I'm gonna edit some tracks in Cubase. Let's hear the original tracks. Now I'm using Slate Trigger 2 drum replacement software for kick and snare. Let's do the kick first. Now it's much better. And then the snare track. Now it sounds like a snare. It's also useful to compress the snare track if it isn't constant enough, so the peaks are roughly at the same level. Now what about the bass track? Let's hear it. Here I'm trying to mimic the playing style of Paul McCartney with a Rickenbacker bass guitar. Though it's from 2003, but I got those long shiny strings. I also used the mute pad to slightly dampen the bass sound. Let's add some effects to the sound. First EQ. Then a compressor. Then the good old decapitator. As for the vocals, I didn't put enough tape echo at first when we recorded the song. Let's look how they did it back in the 60s. This is a really interesting and detailed book about techniques back then. Now here it says that the delay was 240 milliseconds. So we take the dry signal, Standing in the which is quite land, awful, I have seen no signs of life. And add some ambience with reverberator. Standing in the wasteland, I have seen no signs of life, and I don't An know EQ. where to go to ease my mind. Every path I dare to take seems like someone's wicked A game. compressor with these state-of-art no plugins. Notice that the puke child is muddled at the Fairchild and compressor. When you feel you're down, so down. The echo comes from There's Sound Toys Echo Boy to plugin. With 240 about. milliseconds, it's starting to sound hey, like from 67. Anything goes. In a situation like this, you know. Now let's hear the backing vocal tracks. I'd like to further enhance the backing vocal sound. And I'm gonna use EQ. And a 
nice trick here is to use sound toys microsip. This is a convenient way to double track vocals. I'm gonna mix the whole thing again with Saw Studio. Here are some isolated tracks. These toms are again from the Abbey Road drums. This is Garrison Personal Orchestra. Piano tech. G Force Mellotron. Waves guitar plucking. Okay, let's hear the whole thing. Thanks for listening. Standing in the wasteland, I have seen no signs of light, and I don't know where to go to ease my mind. Every path I dare to take seems like someone's wicked game. There ain't no use to look for brighter signs.